The Housing Secretary says he wants builders to pay the £4 billion bill to remove dangerous cladding on low-rise blocks in England. Previously, leaseholders were told they would have to take out a loan to pay for the work themselves. Campaigners say, though, the proposals don't go far enough. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have their own removal schemes. Our Consumer Affairs correspondent Sarah Corker reports. Removing dangerous cladding on buildings across Britain. Since the Grenfell tragedy nearly five years ago, the row over who should pay to make other tower blocks safe has only intensified. The government will confirm later today that people living in smaller blocks will not have to foot the bill for cladding costs. But non-cladding faults won't be covered. Campaigners like Sophie from Stevenage want ministers to go further. It is a positive step that the government have finally agreed that leaseholders shouldn't be part of the solution um, to the building safety crisis. But it really doesn't go far enough in terms of the interim costs and all of the other fire safety defects that these buildings have. A £4 billion scheme will help people living in buildings between 11 and 18 metres who have previously missed out on grants to remove cladding. Mr Gove will warn developers they'll be expected to pay for the scheme or face legal or tax changes. There will also be more money for fire alarms, a review of the scale of the work actually needed, and leaseholders will also be given more time to sue builders over defective flats, up to 30 years after construction. At the moment, it's six years. Ultimately, the, the key question is, who put that cladding up? Who was responsible for the state of those buildings? Uh, they are the individuals, they are the companies who should pay in order to ensure that that cladding is removed and that buildings are safe. There will be no new money from the Treasury for this and it's unclear just how the government plans to pressure the industry to pay. Developers often argue they met building regulations at the time and so shouldn't have to bear these costs. The construction industry should uh, pay its part in remediating buildings that are unsafe, but of course some of them won't. Uh, I hope that the reputable companies will uh, play their part and some of them will have gone out of business, uh, so there's no one to pay. Here in Salford, the problems at Liz's buildings aren't cladding and she's still facing huge bills to fix other fire safety faults. This package doesn't help me because it is primarily for cladding and cladding isn't an issue at Lambert Court, it is cavity barriers. So I am still facing, or likely to be facing, huge, huge bills that I cannot possibly pay. But all of this has already dragged on for years. None of these solutions will be quick or easy. And the financial situation for many is already critical. Sarah Corker, BBC News.